guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 98 of the Decades Challenge. Um, so I think the last part was uh, pretty much filled with a ton of drama, and this part's gonna be a little more <laughs> bright and uplifting. It's the day of Ronnie and Charlotte's wedding. It's also Charlotte's birthday, so I wanted to age her up into a young adult before she got married. Um, so what I've done is I've moved Charlotte into Ronnie's house here in Oasis Springs and I've made her a birthday cake and it's time to eat her up. Their wedding is scheduled for today at two o'clock. It's at the Newcrest Chapel, I think it's called. It was just a, a lot that I downloaded from the gallery. It looked like a good place to have a wedding in the 50s. So I thought that worked out pretty nicely. So they're gonna get married there today. And in other news, um, sadly, I had invited uh, all of Charlotte's family to the wedding, but one member is not going to make it. Uh, she just got the call yesterday that Evelyn has passed away, and I kind of knew that was going to happen pretty soon, but I'm upset about it because, I don't know, Evelyn was a great character. She was a lot of fun to play with. A lot happened with her. She went through a lot in her life, and um, yeah, her story is officially over. So um, sadly, Charlotte's going to be feeling pretty upset, uh, even for her wedding day but we're gonna try and power through it. And now she is going to blow out her candles and become a young adult, a soon to be married young adult. And Ronnie's not even, oops, Ronnie's not even gonna watch her wedding, that's harsh. Or her wedding, her birthday. He should be there for the wedding. Oh, he's cleaning up dishes. I don't even know why there are dishes. We haven't played in this house for long at all. Okay, so Charlotte, she's a klepto, she's neat. We'll randomize the last trait. Uh, she's a goofball, so that's those are good trades. That, well, klepto aside, the rest are pretty good. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is add a wedding topper to this cake because we can reuse it for their wedding. Uh, I'm going to put it in the fridge for now. We have a whole bunch of school projects we can sell and just get rid of. Um, so I'm going to do that. I mean, these are all books that she's stolen, so I don't know. She might be kind of proud of those items. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of them just yet. So if you haven't seen their house already, this is it. I downloaded it off the gallery. I'm just going to kind of go at ultra speed for a little bit just until we get closer to the uh, time of the wedding. Um, so yeah, I got it from the gallery. I think it's perfect for the 50s. And then I went inside and completely decorated it um, sort of 50s-esque. There's lots of turquoise um, in this house and like... I don't know. I think it's really perfect. Oh, Evelyn's crying in bed. Um, and I had so much fun creating it as well. There are two empty bedrooms here, so when they start a family, they have somewhere to put them. Um, and Ronnie is a uh, junior tinkerer, so he's level three in the... Oh, Charlotte is trying to steal... Oh, no, no, hold on. Don't steal his money. <gasps> no! Their relationship got completely... Oh, come on. You can't steal from him. Oh, I think I have to try and cheat this. Um, this is, you can't, you can't, no. No, you cannot try to steal from your fiance. I guess she just couldn't help it. Um, okay, so I fixed that relationship. That was a little unfortunate. I kind of hope that never happens again. Um, so yeah, Ronnie is a junior tinkerer in the scientist career. Um, and then also their romantic went down just a little bit. We can work on that. That's, that's okay. Okay, what are you gonna do now? Just chat with him? Fine, but don't don't steal from him. Compliment his outfit. Um, blow a kiss. I do love the way he dresses. I will give him that. Um, kiss. Tell him a joke, maybe, because she's funny or she thinks she is. She's a goofball. Uh, inside joke. And reveal a deep secret. Oh, yeah, just hours before your wedding. Good call. And then here we have some mail. Okay, let's get some mail. Uh, we're just kind of killing time until the wedding starts. Uh, Robert, I heard you became friends with Ronnie. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he's all right. Um, what did we get in the mail? We got a fossil. Okay, I think that was from her birthday. What if we actually kept this and just put it somewhere, like on the bookshelf? There you go. That's our fossil we got for our birthday. Um, I, w I think she should keep all the books that she's stolen as well because I find it funny. Stop trying to steal his money. This is ridiculous. She, oh, you guys, this is ridiculous. I, I don't even know what to say. Now I got to reset their relationship again. This is just going to happen, I guess, because, um, she can't even help herself. There. Now, can you at least apologize? There, apologize. Say you're sorry and you didn't mean it. 
And you know what? You don't have to steal his money. His money is your money. Okay, you know, all is all is well. She is feeling a little bit dazed, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna put the, um, before we have to go, I'm gonna put the cake in her inventory uh, so we can bring that with us. You guys just stay away from each other for the next half hour because I don't trust her at all. I cannot, yeah, I can't leave them alone together. Okay, wedding is about to begin. Are you ready to start? This will end any currently running events. That's fine. So we're gonna head over to the chapel. Um, as for the guest list, I got, it was Charlotte that planned the event, so I invited, like, pretty much everybody that she knew, uh, mostly just family members and, like, two uh, fellow students from school, and I did invite both Lewis, her dad, and Ronald, her mom's boyfriend. Um, so don't think that I am completely ignoring that situation and that we have moved on from Joyce and we're just kind of moving on with Charlotte. I am going to go back to Joyce at some point. I just, I'm not sure what to do with her yet. Her life is a bit of a hot mess. Uh, in the last part, her and Lewis broke up. <gasps> Evelyn came anyway. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, excuse you. She's wearing a wedding dress. I, 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 I don't accept this. Um, okay, hold on. We just got to, we got to change this. Um, ask to see outfit. Can I see your, um, your party wear maybe? Like literally anything else? And then, um, I do want to put her in her own wedding dress because I picked out a wedding dress for her. I got her completely like dressed up in a 50s type wedding dress. I did some research on 50s weddings too, so hopefully, um, hopefully it matches up. There it is, so cute. Um, so the story is this veil that they're both actually wearing. Um, I'm hoping to change her outfit. Please change your outfit. You can't wear that. That's your party wear? Okay, fine. Just wear your everyday wear if you're going to be like that. Okay, stop talking. I want to get this going, but first I have to change you. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? No. I don't accept that she's wearing a wedding dress. Um, yeah, so that veil that uh, they're both wearing, I have kind of, the story is like, it's been passed on from generation to generation. The very first Sam, I believe that was Anna, who married Joseph, I think. Um, she wore it first. You know what? That's fine. Let's take off the veil, though, because you know what? You ain't that fancy anymore. Um, and then, there you go. Okay, that's better. We'll, we'll call that her formal outfit. As long as it's not white and she's not wearing a veil, that's a bit much <laughs> to attend someone's wedding. The rule is you're not supposed to wear white and you take it way too far if you're actually wearing a veil. So that's just unacceptable. Okay, so once this loads up, we can go and check out uh, the chapel that we're gonna get married in and hopefully get started with the actual wedding. This has been a complete waste of my time. Okay, so you want a barbecue? That's fine. Oh my god, it switched over to her household. <sighs> okay, all right, we gotta do this now. Um, add to family, no, no, no. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess around. Anyway, so I, I guess it gives me kind of a chance to talk about what's going on in Joyce's life. In the last part, she did actually end up telling Lewis that she's been cheating on him for a, kind of a long time. And so eventually, I think... We have to, we have to find out what we want to do. Like, Lewis left. He doesn't live there anymore. He moved out. Um, so Ronald is still technically around. He's an elder, though, so he may not be around for that long. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions on what you think Joyce should do, I mean, it makes more sense that she would be with Ronald now, but at the same time, it's kind of shady for him to just move in uh, with two, with one of Lewis's kids still living there. I think it's really weird. Also, we have to restart this wedding event. I have completely messed this up. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah, because I think when I switched households, it canceled the whole event, which does make sense, but now we have to pay for it again. I already paid for this once. That's really unfortunate. Wedding. Um, yep, you got him. That's the bride and the groom. Hopefully the bride doesn't try to steal from the groom. Uh, and then we're going to be at the Newcrest Wedding Chapel. There we go. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's get started on this wedding then because this is just gonna take forever. Uh, Ronnie, come over here and get married to Charlotte. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not wearing that. This is not happening. For some reason, they just, the game, actually what he's wearing is perfectly fine. Oh, he just changed. Lord help us, what's it gonna be? 
Okay, he actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna get him to go to the washroom first so he doesn't pee himself at the altar. Um, to the person sleeping on the bench, could you please not? You're kind of ruining our wedding. It hasn't even started yet and you're already ruining it. Okay, come over here, get married to Charlotte. I just wanna get this going. And of course, nobody, everyone's just gonna stand there and dance, which I despise, but that's okay. Um, so this is the chapel here. It's got like a bunch of uh, church pews that kind of go all the way back. Um, I don't think I've actually been in this lot before. Oh, it's already so adorable. <laughs> I think it's what she's, I think it's her dress. Like I, there's something about it that is just so perfect. Yeah, this is super 50s. Like how it doesn't go all the way down. It just suits her really well. Is anybody gonna watch? Oh, I kept, you go. Okay, people are coming in at least. So that's good. Do the washrooms have to be right there? Oh my God. You know what? I don't want to watch from this angle. I want to watch from this angle. There we go. Nobody knows that earlier today she tried to steal money from him, not once, but twice. Okay, come on, get it, all, get it over with. Let's, let's, let's kiss, let's, let's seal the deal. Oh, she's got a, oh, that's how you seal the deal. You put the ring on and it's got a big diamond. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Perfect. Okay, so um, Charlotte and Ronnie are married, that's that. Um, so what we can do is put out the cake I get. Well, we might be able to. It's kind of, the game is kind of weird about that. So where should we go next? Should we go outside and like eat? Um, somebody put some burgers on the grill, but they don't look like they're in great shape. Um, can we go over here and, no, I don't want to grab a serving. I want to cut the cake. Okay, hold on a sec. Um... For some reason, oh, there we go, cut wedding cake. Let's do that. I hardly ever do that and I'm not sure why. I guess I don't do weddings that often. Um, they just, they're very, very repetitive. They're all the same. I've always wanted a wedding pack. I feel like that'd be great. There you go, that's all you had to do. Ronnie had absolutely nothing to do with that. Um, could we have some drinks maybe? Well, I guess I should have hired a bartender. Should I do that? Ronnie can't afford this. Oh, that's too bad. He only has $93. Oh. Stanley's just stuffing his face with cake over there. Everybody's gonna come for the cake. Um, yeah, we don't, we can't afford anything. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna have our cake. Um, what are you guys doing? Oh, okay. She's just kind of sitting there. That's, that's good, I guess. Um, I kind of want them to pose for like a wedding photo, although I don't know how to do that. Um, let's get them to come over here. You know what? Yeah, come over here. Everybody stop eating your cake. Also, how old is Ronnie? I'm not even sure. Uh, okay, he becomes an adult in 15 days, so he has quite a bit of time. Uh, okay, actually, you know what? Let's go outside for this. I feel like there's gotta be somewhere pretty that we can take this picture. Actually, kind of in this, I need a good backdrop. Why is there a teddy bear there? You know what, we could actually turn on some, um, some jazz music. Then people can dance, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to find a good place to take pictures. Um, the, I love the car. I don't know why. Oh, a picture in front of the car would be amazing. Let's go over here. I realize I'm probably wasting my time with this, but I really want to take a picture of them in front of the car. Cause that's kind of what they did back then, right? Like in an older car. Okay. Um, well, I mean, he's not perfect, but okay, hold on. You have to come up next to him. Like it, it looks not good that he's standing in front of her. There we go. Okay, you know what? Um, let's just take a picture. Do they look great? I don't know. I mean, they're at least looking at each other, but that's... Okay. I feel like I got a couple of pictures. Who knows what I'm going to end up using for the thumbnail. It is what it is. Um, so I'm going to get Charlotte to go to the washroom, maybe. And then Ronnie... Um, I mean, go, oh, tinker. Don't tinker with that thing. Uh, don't practice piano either. I don't know what there is to do. You can't really dance to jazz music, so I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting for this wedding to end. Um, he's having more cake. That's, I guess that's fine. Why not? 
Um, thank guests for coming. We could actually do that. Let's go, um, let's go tell her mom. Thanks for coming. Uh, how do I do this? It's going to be, oh, I probably already, oh, there we go. Go, thanks for coming. Um, so yeah, her mom and her dad are here. I have not seen Ronald. I don't know if he's actually here or not. Uh, we did invite him though. He was on the, um, on the list of people to invite. Can you go tell this lady thing? Oh, no. He doesn't know him. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get Ronnie to go thank Lewis for coming. And then we'll thank this guy for- oh, we already did it? Oh, okay, have the controls that flirt with each other. Okay, we can do that. Let's, um... Flirt? I get. I guess... I don't know, is that really what happens at weddings? <laughs> they just flirt with each other, that's it? There, that should be- that should be done, no? There we go. Okay, so they flirted with each other three times. Um, now we just have to have drinks, but I don't really want to do that. Let's see if we can get any more pic- I kind of like this picture because- I, It's not even a picture, but it's a potential for a picture. Because her family's kind of in the background. That's kind of cute, right? I don't know. I don't know. I just think Charlotte looks stunning. Like, I just- I love her look. Um, so yeah, when I googled, like, uh, 50s brides, it told me, like, uh, lots of antique jewelry, um, the gloves, red lipstick, and, like, the, I forget what they call these dresses. Is it A-line, maybe? I'm not sure, but either way, I feel like I nailed it with the wedding dress. She looks really good. Um, so I'm gonna end this event now, I think. They've had a pretty good wedding. Um, there's just, weddings in The Sims, they suck, and I don't know why. Like, they, they should be better than they are. Um, so we're gonna head home now. That's, that's gonna be, that's gonna be it. I do wish there was more to do and that each wedding could be a little bit different, but they're all kind of the same. They give you the same things to do, which isn't very much. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head home and these two are just gonna kind of start their life together. So the plan for Charlotte, um, I thought about her maybe getting a job, but I also just love the idea of her just being like a stay-at-home wife wife in the 50s. It feels like it's been done a little bit, but let's not forget that Evelyn did work as a nurse. Joyce, uh, she never did work. She, she did gardening and that made her some money, but um, she never really had to work because they had a little bit of money saved up. So Ronnie, um, I guess these two should probably go and uh, Woohoo, it is their wedding night after all. I'm gonna turn off the music though. And I do have Risky Woohoo turned on, so you never really know what's gonna happen. I think you can't start using birth control until the 60s, I believe, so we will be hopefully doing that, um, having a little bit more control over when we have kids. Right now, like for the past few generations, we have no control. We just, it just happens when it happens. Um, why are you awake? No, go back to sleep, please. Oh, they both want to wake up at 3 a.m. Um, so Ronnie probably doesn't work today. Let me just see here. No, he has the weekends off. Um, he just had a breakthrough, which is kind of cool. Okay, fine. You know what? You want to wake up so bad? That's fine. Let's go serve up some um, eggs and toast. And, I mean, I see her bladder going down. Well, no, maybe not as much as it was before, but I was kind of concerned. I don't really want her to have a baby right now. I was kind of hoping they could just wait a little bit, but we'll see. Please don't burn his breakfast. Oh, it's the first day of fall, so I guess that means Harvest Fest will be coming pretty soon. You can come grab a serving. She's just gonna eat without him, that's fine. Um, also, there are new careers that I kind of want to check out. I was considering having Charlotte become a teacher because that's kind of a, a cool one. Oh no, she is pregnant, isn't she? Her bladder is going down. Oh, I have a feeling she's actually pregnant. Okay, well, I mean, if if she is, it's not the worst thing ever. We have the space for it. Not a ton of money. We have 80 bucks. We couldn't even afford a bassinet if we wanted one. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, I think we should be okay. Okay, she's gonna do some laundry. Uh, yeah, there's not a ton of housework right now anyway, so maybe a baby wouldn't be the worst thing. It would give her something to do. Um, and it's a rainy day, so I don't know what we should do here. I'm gonna get him to go, uh, tinker with the TV. I don't know if I like that. I like the idea of him being a tinkerer, though. Let's go tinker with the TV. I'm just hoping he doesn't break it. 
Okay, he's doing it from over here. I guess that's fine. Um, this TV is custom content, but I had to have it just because it suits the 50s so well. Um, so yeah, I like the idea of Ronnie just kind of going around and tinkering with things. Let's tinker with this too. Why not? And then uh, Joyce, congrats on getting married. Thanks, I guess. Um, wow, there is literally nothing for Charlotte to do around here. Maybe she should get a job. I don't know. I mean, she could, I think, let me just see here what um, the options are. Because, yeah, with Discover University, we got a list of new careers. And I know that uh, uh, education was one of them. Um, yeah, education. So it starts as a substitute teacher. Engineer is the other one. Oh, he, oh Ronnie would have made a good engineer. Um, law was the other one. And I think that was it. Yeah, so there's three new careers. That's pretty good. Um... I don't know. I just, I really like the idea of Charlotte just staying home. But I mean, in, in cases like right now, there's nothing to do. It is raining. Um, so we can't go outside. There's not a ton to do inside. Maybe they could watch a movie together. Oh, she's, she's, she's found something to do. She's just going to dance. Um, let's watch a movie with, um, we'll watch Diamonds Are for Sims. Maybe it's in black and white. That'd be good. I have no idea if that's how you're gonna watch the movie. Okay, this doesn't look terribly comfortable. Okay, it's not in black and white, but that's okay. I don't know when color TV even became a thing. Um, I just know that they, they did have TVs back then. Yeah, um, and look at her hunger. It's going down really quickly. I just, I really do think that Charlotte is gonna have a baby. Um, should I check with MC Command Center? I don't know. I'm a little tempted. Um, maybe I'll get her to make some lunch. Because she is hungry. I mean, we could, eat we could eat leftovers, but we have the time to just make food. So let's make a grilled cheese. Um, and then you... Oh, Virginia. Let's go to the flea market see what we can find. Oh, I think Virginia is his mother. Um, I did go and look at his... Oh, I didn't even invite his aunt and his cousin to the wedding. I totally forgot about that. But there should be a way to do that where, like, when you plan a social event, it combines both the bride and groom's um, people that they know, I guess, and you can pick from that. Because you can only invite one person's friends, and that's not fair. Um, so he lived with Chelsea Roswell, which was his aunt, and then his cousin, Jean. And then Sean is his dad. But he didn't live with his dad. I don't know what the situation was there. And he has another aunt named Aisha... And his mom was Virginia. So yeah, Ronnie has a bit of a backstory. I just don't understand it at all. Um, he lived in that the Roswell house in Strangerville. But um, he lived by himself. Or he lived with his aunt and his cousin. His dad was nowhere to be found. But apparently he's alive and well. Um, so these two are just chatting away. Um, what else can we do here? Why don't you just watch some more TV? I feel like he's not, he needs more stimulation than that. Here, read a book. Because he is, I think he's a genius sim. Yeah, he is a genius. And they, oh, they're both, they both have the neat trait. That's good to know. Yeah, look at this. She's totally, and she has the option to throw up. Well, let's do that if it's going to make you feel better. I mean, I guess it would be kind of a cute story to know that they conceived on their wedding night. <laughs> you have to clean that toilet now because it's it's horrendous. Um, okay, it kind of stopped raining a little bit. We could probably go get this laundry. Oh, no, it's still wet. Of course it is, naturally. Um, ooh, let's go get this. Let's clean that. That'll be worth some money. <laughs> I don't know why I like to do that, but it's it's fun. After lightning strikes, you can go pick up like these little crystals and diamonds and things. Um, let's see what it's worth. 168. We could use that. <laughs> we really could. Then we have these toys, but I kind of want to save those toys for her kids. Um, also, I want to purchase seeds, but we can barely afford anything. Um, so there's catnip, starter flower, starter fruits, magical. Let's do one fruit and one vegetable. Like I said, we can't afford it, but we're doing it anyway. Um, and then we'll open the seed packets. Because she needs something to do. Um, oh, those are trees. I don't want to grow trees. Okay. So we'll put our peppers there. And then our spinach can go in this one. And then our mushrooms can go here. Yeah, I might not even grow flowers. Just like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. I don't see why not. 
Ronnie Roswell, what are you up to? Oh, he's been reading. Oh, good. But he's hungry, so... <laughs> I mean, I kind of would expect her to have a hot meal ready constantly, but we just made grilled cheese and eggs and toast this morning. And we're on a bit of a budget, so he's going to have some leftovers. She's going to sit in the pouring rain and do some gardening. There you go. Good job. And then we'll just plant the apple tree in this one, I think. I think you can only have one in there. I don't know. They're pretty big. There you go. Okay. So we did some gardening. Uh, let's go inside. She's going to be soaking wet and miserable. I'm going to get her to take a bubble bath. Um, Ronnie's eating his grilled cheese. Put this book away, please. And maybe do some more reading. Uh, what do Genius Sims even like to do? I'm not totally sure. Um, could share ideas with others. Maybe come upset if they haven't improved their mental skill for some time. He just keeps getting these... Um, these breakthroughs. Okay, no, you need to go to eat something. Um, so he works tomorrow at 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. I'm going to turn off this thing and you can go to sleep. Uh, then you need to go to the washroom. I really would love to take a pregnancy test, but we can't. We have to wait it out and see if she's actually pregnant. I could use MC Command Center, but I feel like I rely on that too much and it kind of takes the fun out of things sometimes. So uh, in this case, I'm not going to. Lewis is calling. I don't know why. Oh, is this it? This is it. Yep. Okay. Um, Charlotte is expecting. So the first, the very first time she woohooed on their wedding night, she actually got pregnant. So that's kind of a cool story. Now she's telling Ronnie about it. He seems pretty excited. Now you guys can both go to bed. There you go. Is that, yeah, like I said, that was not originally my plan, but it is what it is. When, uh, when you have Risky Woohoo turned on, these things happen. Okay, it's 1.54. You have to sleep a little bit longer than that. And so do you. Wow. Why do they want to wake up so early? Like, you'd think that they would not want to wake up. Oh my god, he got up again. I think I put them to bed kind of early, and this bed gives them, like, a really good sleep at night. So that could be part of it. Um, let's change into some everyday clothes and go serve some scrambled eggs with bacon for Ronnie. Um, he can go take a shower, get ready for his day. I think he has all the breakthroughs. Yeah, he needed six to get a promotion. He's gonna do really well in his career because all you, you don't need skills for um, the scientist career. You just need to um, get breakthroughs and he gets them constantly. So I think he's gonna do really well for himself. Uh, oh, can we brew some coffee? Oh no, don't tinker, don't tinker. No, you'll just, you'll just break it. Yes, sir. And then, do you have to wait for it? I want some now. How cute are they? Like, he's making he, she's making breakfast, he's making coffee. They're being adorable. There you go, have your coffee. She can't have any. I don't know if back then, like, I know you're not supposed to have caffeine when you're pregnant, but back then they even thought you could drink while you were pregnant. In fact, it was encouraged. And smoke. So, I mean, coffee is nothing, really. Child's play. There you go. Is it going to tell you you can't have any? Oh, no. You still can when you're pregnant, I guess. Uh, oh, Ronnie, you should grab a serving of that. Look at them. They're the cutest couple ever. And they're going to be such a cute family, too. I, I actually can't wait for her to have her baby. Um, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We're going to wait and find out, though, because that's kind of how it was anyway. He's just chatting away. I do feel like Ronnie would be such a chatterbox. Like... He has so much on his mind all the time. I think he would talk a lot. Um, Lewis, let's go experience some of the unique culture. No, thank you. Um, she's enjoying her newlywed life. Go clean this up. Uh, and then we could go outside and probably... Oh, it's still wet. My God, that's taking forever. Holy... Oh, we already have... Okay. <laughs> we already have mushrooms to sell. So I guess that's good. Let's go sell those. That was really fast. And then the rest of these, I don't think they need water or anything. Yeah, okay, we seem to be okay. Um, yeah, we just have to find things to do. I'm excited for when we get that new stuff pack, because I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet, but I think that um, if we were to get like the arts and craft one, I wish we had it now because we could do knitting and things like that. Also, if you're voting for happy haunts or whatever, we cannot be friends. We just can't. Like, that's the absolute worst stuff pack 
ever. I feel like that's going to be the one people vote for, and that's really disappointing. Um, send alone. Um, yeah, I did. I don't, if you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, apparently we get to vote for the next stuff pack, and, um, I, I wish I could remember what they all were, but the one I voted for as number one was, like, arts and crafts, so knitting and things like that. I think we need that so badly. Uh, I'm gonna get Ronnie to work hard, and... Okay, you guys, you have to stop with the music. It's just annoying. There is literally nothing for her to do. Um, can we go for a walk? We could get a pet and then she could like take it for walks. Like I know that's kind of sad, but she needs some meaning in her life. Um, let's go for a walk over here. You can build a sand sculpture. I thought you had to be on a beach for that, but that's okay. Um, oh, there's this thing. Oh, it's sage. Let's harvest that. This is chrysanthemums and then this is lemons. Oh yes, I wanna grow all those things. Okay, well, we just got a whole bunch of stuff we can plant, so that's something. Um, let's go back over here. Um, a lemon tree, I think. Let's plant one chrysanthemum there. Oh, we have carrots. Okay, let's plant a carrot. Um, a lemon tree. I'm going to put a couple of lemon trees in the backyard. Let's go plant all these now. I feel like gardening is a pretty good thing to do. I mean, it gets, it gets a little boring after a while, but... Until we have kids, she doesn't have much to do, I think. Okay, where are you? There you go. She is coming. Okay. So she's going to plant her lemon trees. I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. If you guys enjoyed this part, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.